Uh, we've been thinking that in uh, combination with a rent freeze, we could also really use a calorie freeze right now. So like calories just don't count anymore. Um, yeah, I've been eating a lot of cookies, a lot of cookies. Yeah, that's sort of our status. A lot of chocolate chip with a little salt on top. Mm, yep, mm -hmm, that's where we are. Um, but speaking of things that are very sweet and salty, uh, today uh, we have Mark Benjamin, and he is hilarious. Uh, soup's hilarious. Uh, follow him on the Insta and the Twitter at the Mark Benjamin. Uh, and also, he was in a decu dick, dick. He was in a documentary. Yeah, he was in a documentary on Netflix called "Voulez-vous rire avec moi?" Spicy which apparently translates to, would you sleep with me? So, documentary it is. Enjoy, Mark. Hello. Oh, you are so clear. Hello. There we go. Do you have a piano in the background? Uh, uh, thank you. I bought it off Craigslist um, when I was feeling zesty. And now I was like, well, bitch, you hold in here for a long ass time. So you better relearn. <laughs> uh, check this out. They look great. What a what a great vibe to bring into your home during this time. <laughs> it's important to have the right lighting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> under quarantine, I went with a purple and blue seasonal. It you know signifies winter into spring. You ready for this? This is my entire apartment. It's a single room occupancy oh situation. God. So this is literally my kitchen. I have a hot plate and a microwave and a tiny fridge. Oh my God. Mark, there's nothing in it. So I, ha <laughs> I have an orange and, and a potato <laughs> and a lime and then uh, some a month old Chinese food. Oh, and I have peanut butter down the hall. Okay, check it out. We have like bathrooms. Isn't this wild? Okay, let's go of cribs that I've always wanted. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. See this? This is like, it's like a communal, there's like four of these bathrooms. Do you know who uses the bathroom? Is that a cat? Like, oh, no, a that's, not, that's a trash can. Isn't that, it's like an adult dorm. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm like, you should draft me on your apocalypse team. I think I'm actually going to be pretty good. Yeah, and I think I'm a survivor. Let me just put it that way. Um, I've got the hat, I've got, you know, I've got a stash going, I've got the look. You look prepared for something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what, exactly. But <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like, every person in this building is, like, a 90-year-old, like, uh, social, like, they're agoraphobes, like, they're afraid to come out of their own apartment. Um, it's really weird. Like one guy, like when he goes to the bathroom, if he sees you, he can't make eye contact with people. So he does this. Like he actually puts his arm like over his eye. Like he's a nice guy, but he just like has this, like that's my neighbor. Are you from New York? No, Pennsylvania, Harrisburg area. What about you? Where are you from? Uh, dude, we did a lot of the states, but uh, Washington state for the most part. But Okay. Mom uh, is in Florida, my dad's in Arizona, and both of them uh, were like, hey, you want to leave? Uh, you want to come here? <laughs> <laughs> they offered up. <laughs> like, yeah, why don't my dirty-ass corona self come to your elderly communities and kill all of your friends? <laughs> yeah, great idea. Yeah, I don't like this shelter-in-place term, by the way. Like, I read the article. I'm like, why don't you just call it prison? Like, what are we, I mean, <laughs> I feel like they're trying to, like, you know, it's like calling the homeless, like, residentially challenged. For you, over this time, like, a lot of people are like, you know what? I'm going to learn the trumpet, or I'm going to learn German, or I'm just, like, going to Netflix. Do you, or, like, I'm going to write the next novel, and it's going to be a maze. Do you have anything for yourself, or do you, like, are you like, fuck that? Well, I say this. Um, I say that I'm going to write stuff. And then I just put that off. So that, I am definitely going to get really good at putting off writing, mm -hmm. um, which I'm already very good at. 
as a comedian were very good. Oh yeah, I'm totally gonna sit down and write. And then you do literally anything else other than write. It does, it does suck not having um, audience reaction. It is brutal. I don't know how, like doing stuff here at home, like I don't know, I mean, I kind of have a handle if something's funny, but I really don't, it's weird. Oh. I mean, I feel like there's so many jokes that I'm like, ha, like. Right, like it probably stinks, but I don't know. <laughs> no one's gonna understand that, like no one. Right. Like we actually need a smushed group of people to do what we do. Uh, do you think that at the end of this time that there will be more divorces or babies? Okay, this is so funny that you said this because I, I got, completely annihilated at whatever table I was at. I was the only one who thought that more people would, I thought that more people would be having sex, but I predicted a drop in babies. Like I predicted a huge baby drop because it's a virus. So it's like, ooh, who wants to like have a kid in like this new global warming, just, train wreck of a world like what psycho would want to have a kid and then everybody i was sitting with was like no i think the baby thing is going to spike in 10 months so i don't know about the divorce thing yet but what do you think about just the baby thing first because i thought it's going to drop i you know i love how much i think you believe in birth control <laughs> <laughs> I have friends that have quarantined with like their significant other and like dude I am definitely riding a solo wave where that pillow is uh my comfort you know yeah but, you've got to be like you better be living with that person like if you think somehow a quarantine like if you're living separately and then you're like hey let's quarantine together what are you psycho like there's no way that that is working if you get it in the right magic stage where it's like, oh, actually, this is, but that's a very, very specific stage. The real small slice of the pie, I think, right? Yeah, so what about the divorce thing? I think that when we're smooshed together, it's like combustion, just things are gonna come out, you know? Or yeah. Yeah, because like marriage, I think only the, the real marriage is that like work, you gotta be apart for like most of the time, yeah. right? <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of divorce. I'm excited. Good for them. Yeah, it is kind of weird not touching people. It's weird. That's how much we like need it, which is like a weird, but like, I just could use a hug. Yeah, but like, lit like, phys like, we need it. Like, we are a social, we're a social species. Mm -hmm. We need this shit. No, Touch me. Getting within like two feet of my roommate and being like, hey, I just, yeah. how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you have roommates, so at least you can just oh. be like, can we just touch each other? <laughs> I'm going to have to go down the hall with fucking Howard Hughes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making out with my doorman later. Nor my doorman's name is Norman, by the way. Norman the doorman. And he's this old Asian burnout. So I'm going to go make out with an old Asian guy to show my solidarity with the Chinese American community. Oh my God, That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Do you believe in God, or are you going to start during this process? Great question. Yeah. Keep it light, surface level, easy question. Mm -hmm. um, I, great question. Boy, how much time do we have? I'll say this. I used to be, like, one of those asshole, like, atheists, like, smug, you know, like, yeah, obviously there's no, yeah. Like, I feel like I always, like, I go into, like, Billy Idol. It's as if, like, Billy Idol is an atheist. Like, ow, oh, mate, yeah, yeah, you believe in God, yeah, what the fuck? Um, I don't know why. That's a horrible Billy Idol impersonation. Um, I used to be very anti, and then recently, you know, I, I feel like I've started to sort of come around to just, like, it can't just be the universe came out of nothing. Like, there's got to be something. And maybe we're like, yes, maybe we're very like insignificant in the grand universe, but we're each our own universe, you know? So like everybody's brain is its own universe and you have to respect that. So on one hand, 
we are totally insignificant. Yeah, there you go. On one hand, completely insignificant. On the other hand, we are everything. So it's like you can't infringe upon somebody else's universe. So that's kind of like my, that's kind of my ethos. Does that work? I think, yeah, I think that's kind of what the Jews are all about, which I'm, I'm a Jew. So like, I think that's kind of what their, their deal is. Like if you, like if one person gets killed, everybody gets killed kind of deal. You know, it's just have some empathy, assholes. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Cameron. This was great. Yeah, love <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, it's kind of like, wait, isn't that like a dance, like a dab or something? <laughs> I love it. Okay. Right. I'll I'll talk to you soon. Okay. It's really the only way right now. <laughs>